That's right. Uh, Candace Miller says she has two very important goals. One, obviously, to get the repairs needed to this sinkhole, this collapsed sewer 50 feet underground. The other is to compensate the families affected. We're facing a uh, incredibly large challenge here and a very expensive one. Macomb County Public Works Director Candace Miller says the clock is ticking and the cost to fix the massive sinkhole here in Fraser is rising. Miller says 19 families living on Eberline Street will soon be able to move back into their homes, possibly by the end of the week, but three others will not. Of course, there are three homes. Uh, those uh, four families, unfortunately, are never going to go home. Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle says county officials are desperately searching for ways to compensate those families for their loss and says those homes must be demolished in order to fix the sewer collapse nearly 50 feet underground. We're going to work independently, individually with those residents to try to figure out the best solution possible that would uh, be satisfactory to them and obviously uh, one that would be the less impactful uh, financially for ratepayers and or the county. Take a look at this video of one of the homes that officials condemned. This was taken last week. Now take a look at this video from today. And with costs expected to be in the tens of millions of dollars, Miller says there's really no choice how the county will pay for repairs. That would most likely have to be a bond issue, uh, which would be the full faith and uh, credit of the county, right? That has to uh, issue those bonds, and it's paid for by the people in the district. Back here live, also an engineer with Candace Miller's teams revealed today he believes the sinkhole was caused by repairs done to this sewer drain 50 feet underground back in the 1970s. And this is all based on new information they learned recently. But again, they say at this time, it's a best guess. We're live in Frazier, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. It's been a tough go for residents there, Gino. Thank you.